What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the very special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower Todd. Todd, thank you so, so much for your continued support, for being such a long-running member of the herd. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you for the supernatural uh, TV show request that you put in front of me and the rest of the herd. I have loved every episode uh, and I can't wait to finish off the season. I'm enjoying it so, so much. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for this month's request, which I, at first, I wasn't sure that I knew what this song was until I listened to the chorus and was like, oh, it's this song. I, I, I've heard it like kind of, I don't know if I've heard it in ads or on TikTok, but I've heard it around. It's one of those songs I've heard around. I hadn't really heard the verses. Once the chorus hit, I was like, okay, I know this. And the second that chorus hit, I was like, oh, Colm, Colm is going to do fantastic with this one. I can't wait to hear what he does with this. So I'm super excited. We're going to get into it. As always, guys, please check out the original video that's linked in the description below. Give the original a like and a comment and subscribe to Colin McGuinness if you haven't already, because the guy is absolutely amazing. And we're going to get into this. This is Colin McGuinness's cover of Too Sweet. Let's go. Of all the catchphrases, Colum, Colum just has one of the best catchphrases. Stay very handsome. I love that so much. I, I, I like, he, he says it in a lot of his videos and things like that. It's definitely one of his, it's his catchphrase, but it's just so perfect. You can't be said I'm an early bird. Stand the clock before I say a word Baby, I can never tell How do you sleep so well? You keep telling me to live right Okay, apparently we're doing this as a duet. Um, I'm turning the closed captions on just for everyone, anyone who can see them if the screen's big enough. But apparently we're going to do this whole thing as a duet just because we can. Because that's how Mr. Colin McGinnis is going to do things. Uh, I was already going to say, see, I, this, this song, it has a great sound to it and it's very, very cool for what it is. Uh, but the only thing that I will say about it is compared to like the only other H Hosier song I know, uh, Take Me to Church, there's a lot of vocal effects on, on like, I, I think it has it in Take Me to Church as well, but it just doesn't hit the ear the same way. In this one, I could really notice the vocal effects on him, his voice singing. And I was wondering if Colm's going to do that or just do it straight. And it seems like he's just doing it straight. He he has like, he might have a little bit of tweaking there on his voice, but for the most part, he just sounds absolutely incredible. And to be doing this in a similar way to how he did, um, oh my gosh, the name escapes me, but the Arcane song, uh, what could have been, where it's like two different voices singing the same song, He's only just gotten into it and already I can tell this is going to kill me. I'm so excited. You can't be said I'm an early bird. Stand the clock before I say a word. Baby, I can never tell. How do you sleep so well? You keep telling me to live right. To go to bed before the daylight. But then you wake up for the sunrise You know you don't gotta pretend Baby, now and then Don't you just wanna wake up Dark as a lake Smelling like a bonfire Lost in the haze We know, we know that Mr. Colin McGinnis can sing high, he can sing low, he can do it all. I, I have reacted to a bunch of Colum songs by now. Tell me what it is about this particular one, about what he's doing here, where it's just this deep voice. It's just this growl that has just got like, no. I, I, I'm, I'm overheating for a whole different lot of reasons here. Y'all like, um, it's, it, it's sexy. Ain't no, no other way to put it. The way he is singing this part here is just damn sexy. 
Um, it's it's that deep gravelly voice. It's just gets gets your skin tingling. Oh my god! Like damn, if the accent wasn't enough, doing if I could pull off that kind of a voice, whether it was what was natural to me or not, why would you walk around speaking any other way in your day to day life? I would just walk around, even if I was faking it, putting that voice on twenty four seven because sir. Oh my god. Now and then, don't you just wanna wake up? Dark as a lake, smelling like a bonfire, lost in the haze. If you're drunk on life, babe, I think it's great. While in this world, I think I'll take my whiskey knee. My coffee burn. I, I, it took everything in me not to pause that chorus. I'm going all the way back to the beginning of it because I want to hear that whole damn thing again. Oh my God. He, Colm is doing a masterclass in what he is incredible at in this song, which is that he can go, he can go straight from these uh, deep, bassy growl, demon, dragon thing that he does where it's just uh, I can't even uh, I, I am not manly enough to pull that off sir it is just uh, and then go straight from that into these sweet high like up up here airy tones and to transition in like the space of three or four words between those two things is just complete and total musical whiplash my body cannot handle that to have gone from that whisper in your ear. I'm spitting because of this. Oh my God. I'm salivating. Uh, no, to have gone from that deep uh, whisper in your ear kind of sexy, gruff sound uh, into that chorus with that kind of power and then those high notes, the man is just talent personified and he is showing it off in this song. My God. Give me my coffee back in my bed. The way he does your right there, okay? Uh, I that that is one thing, and there, there are probably other people out there that do do it. I pro I'm probably completely wrong saying I have never heard anyone make that particular noise except Colum freaking McGinnis. The way he does that growl that ah! noise on your and makes it sound so good is phenomenal, and it's so like I said for me at least from what I've heard, and maybe I, maybe I haven't heard the right artist, but for me, it is so completely unique to Colin McGuinness and shows why he is such an enigma. You don't get to just go. I'd already told you to piss off. And when I say piss off, it means give me a break after this so I can recover. You don't get to go straight from me going off at you into again and just expect me to keep going. I need I need to find these I need to find this man, sit him down, and have a talking to with him because sir, you need to start behaving. Um I fool. Those high notes were freaking gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then to have just eat, like he did the first like little run of it. And I'm like, yep, yeah, that's 
you you can go you can go straight to hell do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars and then went into a whole nother even better run and then transitioned straight back into the base stuff that i was talking about musical freaking whiplash colin mcginnis's voice is a focal bungee cord and it's ridiculous <laughs> Where I go, work they where I'm free from the phone, and the job gets done. Put your worries on right now. But who wants to live forever, babe? You treat your mouth as if it's heaven's gate. The rest of you, you lick the TSA. Oh, I wish I could go alone, babe. Don't get me wrong. Soft as the rain, pretty as a bone, sweet as a grave. You could sit in a bar, maybe I'll wait until that day. I'd rather take my whiskey knee. He hadn't even gotten into the chorus that time. He hadn't even hit the chorus fully, and he already got me swooning because it wasn't I, it was oi. It was it, that that little Irish inflection on the word I is all it takes. All it takes. I'm dead. I'm deceased. I'm done. We, we're, we're finished here. This is all we needed. Um, he, I, I have not been hit like this by a column song in a while. He has knocked this out of the freaking park and beyond. Uh, I need to see that aisle again. Maybe I'll wait. Until that day, I'd rather take my whiskey knee. My coffee back in my bed at three. You're too sweet for me. You're too sweet for me. I said it before, vocal bungee cord. That's the only way I can describe. You, you're gonna, you're gonna be going from that big chorus to just everything's gone. You're no longer in the, and you're just in a nice white, and the lighting's changed. Like this was already. I this 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 video clip was as genius as the song in the fact that my man's just sitting there singing. Like he does that in a lot of his stuff, but even in terms of like facial expression. There's not a whole lot. He's not trying to act here. He's not trying to do anything. He is just singing. And it's such a perfect clip in my opinion, because it's just like, no, no, no. I don't want to distract you with what I'm doing on the screen. I want you to listen to this. And he freaking nails that because the vocals take you on a journey without him doing absolutely anything on screen, which is exactly what you want a song to do. But this whiplash, this change from the, those high notes to just Boom, everything changes. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. Oof. 
I'll, I'll, I'll put it out there, complete transparent. Oh, we're not, we're not going into the next thing. We've already heard Loser Baby. It's fantastic. I listened to it on repeat. We don't, we don't, we don't need another reaction to it though. Uh, but yo, I, I, I'll put it out there completely honest. Okay. The, ho the ho Hosier, Hosier, I can never pronounce it. I'm so sorry. The original of this song, the original of this song, uh, it's fine. It, the chorus of it's cool. It's a fine song. It is not something I go out of my way to listen to. It is not something that I am like going to be running around gushing about personally. I like them. I, like I said, um, they take me to church. That song's freaking iconic. This one for me, eh, it was, it was, it was fine. It, it's, I'm not going to change the radio station if it's on, but I'm not going to seek it out on Spotify or anything like that either. Colin McGuinness's freaking version just screams. This is how this song was meant to be sung. This is what you were meant to do with this song. This, his version just elevates that song by a million percent, an absolute freak infinity percent above what it was and instantly puts it into like song I desperately need to listen to over and over and over again. I absolutely adore Colm. Uh, he, he knocks it out of the park every damn time, but this one was just exceptional. Yo, uh, please jump in the link in the description and give the original video of this a like and a comment and subscribe to Colm. Tell him how amazing he is. Uh, it, yeah, he, he absolutely deserves all the support in the world. So please go and like and comment on the original. Also, please leave a like and a comment on this video, especially if you're watching this as part of the premiere. Please leave an actual comment on the video. It helps so much with the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe and check me out over on Patreon where I do weekly polls for the reactions that I do here on the channel. I also do weekly TV show reactions, a monthly movie reaction, which is about to come out in just a few days time. I also do a monthly live stream and at the highest tier, you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel. So check all that out over on my Patreon. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.